Hey Sagittarius, I wanted to jump on and do your reading today. I'm going to do a reading around November. So this will be the energies around November. And uh, I sat in your energy a minute ago and I kind of felt like, I don't know, like you're not getting to someone. Like you're trying to reach out to someone or you're trying to, to pull something out of someone and you're just not getting to them. Or, you know, you're not getting what you want out of the situation. And then I... I saw you sweeping, so maybe you're cleaning up the, you know, the situation around you. Maybe you're just like, whatever, you're cleaning it up. It was, and then I saw a light, like you saw something that you normally don't see, and it, it made this opening for you to reach out into something new, you know, to leave that behind since they're not opening up, since they're not available. This person seemed, it was like something that wasn't available, that you weren't grasping for some reason. I'm going to do a Tree of Life reading for November, and we're going to get the energy, see, see what's going on around you, and, uh, and then we'll dig in. So let's get started. All right. Page of Pentacles, you're learning, okay? You're learning that you have other choices, that you can flip a coin and make a choice. It doesn't matter, you know, which way you go. It's going to be a better choice than where you've been, okay? You have four swords here, so you've been healing. Three of Cups. This is your, you, you might be reaching out to your friends, <clears throat> okay? Um, for the force and the qualities, like the leadership of it, Knight of Pentacles. So this is something that's going to start out slow, you know, but that's okay. But you're waiting. The inspiration of it is you're waiting for some reason. Maybe you're just surveying the things around you. The health of it is you're going to get creative. There's going to be some kind of inspiration that's going to come in and it's going to help you get creative. And I think that's the light that you see, you know, that light that you're seeing, that opening that you're seeing, it's going to help you move forward and it's going to help you make a choice. And that's the conquest, the destruction, and the discipline in it. It's just making you have to make a choice. That choice, the science of it, the whole science of the situation of November is you picking up and you moving forward. Because you were cleaning, right? I mean, that's, that's just the way it looked to me. The psychic unification of form is that you have options. You can make, you can point at anywhere on the map and you can go into that direction. You can go where your passion leads you. And the material world, the home, the area where, you know, your your practical outcome and your physical body is, is the hermit. And that's you holding back from anything that doesn't serve you. Whatever that isn't giving you that equal give and take. Because I saw that, you know, within your, um, beforehand. So, let's get started. Let's see what's on the top. Ten of Pentacles. You wanting to go towards your ultimate achievement. You wanting to have that equal give and take with people. And two of cups. In love. In, have success in love. Okay. There might have been like a third party situation here. You're analyzing your emotions. And you're looking at where you had communication. Where you didn't have communication with this person. Where, you know where there was no collaboration and where this person held back, where they had illusions in the situation. And you're making a choice. You're making a choice to put up boundaries. Kind of like a head over heart situation. What is this page of pentacles? <clears throat> Learning that you want a clean house. You want to heal and you want to move forward. You know, you might be just distance yourself from other from this person you're learning where there's deception and where the sun is not shining you know this is awakening because the sun and the moon together is some type of awakening six of wands so it's like yeah you want to have some success from somewhere else but right now you're not having that success with the moon and the sun in reverse it's like you know you're going through some kind of a dark night of the soul or some kind of um, awakening like I said because that's what happens whenever we do you know you might be doing some kind of shadow work 
You're looking within and you're making a choice. Which way do I go? You're cutting off what no longer serves you. You're cutting off like um, what doesn't give you that equal give and take. You know, wherever you put your energy at that doesn't put energy back towards you. You know, you're healing from some kind. Of, could be healing from a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Let's see, Five of Cups. Yeah, you're healing from this depression this, this King of Pentacles put you in. I just say earth signs because uh, I just get an earth sign feel. Put distance between you and this. And this could be like a um, masculine energy in your life. You're putting distance because you know this is hurting you. This has brought you down. What's this three of cups? There's some kind of self-expression that needs to be had here. Somebody needs to say something might be you yeah three of cups is you going finally getting that breakthrough right and you going going off with your friends you know doing your thing whatever this was it really impacted your uh your energy we got the four of swords and three of swords the ace of swords this is like a breakthrough and that's what happens whenever we go in and we heal and we do our shadow work we have breakthroughs you know when we look at the places that we have illusions or we weren't open-minded or we weren't you know seeing the truth where we had that mask on we're not gonna have that well it's not a mask it's a uh, blindfold where we had the blindfold on we're not gonna have that blindfold on any longer we're gonna go ahead and pick our stuff up and we're gonna see things as the truth and we're gonna move forward with it and I really think you know that's Sagittarius energy right there y'all weren't gonna sit in a place of you know five of cups of depression and sadness and four of swords you're gonna heal you're going to heal with that four of swords and i mean the three of swords you're not going to sit in that three of swords energy you're going to pick up with that four of swords and you're going to heal and you're going to give distance where distance needs to be you're making a choice right here that's the conquest that's the discipline in the in the whole situation it's for you to make a choice this is this is november energy y'all for for a lot of people you're making a choice of you know what you want to come together with what your next adventure is <laughs> and it ain't going to be a back and forth energy and that that like meant to flip out you're like the next thing i have is not going to have that it's not going to be emotionally unavailable it's going to be available and i'm going to create that i'm going to create a space where you know i can i can have that and you're not creating you know if you stayed with this with this moon energy, with this deception, you wouldn't be able to have that open. You wouldn't have space for something new. And that's what you're doing with the beauty of it, the health of it, is the um, <clears throat> page of cups. That's like you creating. The health of it is you creating something new, something that's going to bring in, you know, um, happiness, passion. A cheerful vibe you know something warm and fun and sensual it's gonna put that spark back in your life is what it's gonna do seven of cups a new option Queen of Pentacles I mean that's an option for you to sit pretty when you're the Queen of Wands and Queen you're embodying the when you're creating the Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles energy with the Seven of Cups, that's your option. Your option is to create luxury, to create, you know, that, that peace and that nurturing energy within you and to create a uh, passion and just new beginnings, man. Yeah, like a lot of confidence here. That's, and that's good. That's what you need to have for this. And that, again, that Sagittarius energy, that confidence, being able to, to move forward. What is this Knight of Pentacles for the uh, leadership? The qualities. 
of the situation and the leadership. I mean, that's Knight of Pentacles is definitely a slower energy. It's like it's getting somewhere, you know, it's just picking up, it's getting somewhere. We got the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles is working on, you know, new, learning new. You might be putting yourself into a new, um, I don't know, like a new little trade or something. You might be taking new classes or something like that. And there's like a, a option. Where do I want to put myself next? You know, you're still in that place of, of wondering, where am I going to put my, my work into? Where am I going to put my energy in next? kind of like coming up on a new journey you know but it's slowly happening which I mean all new beginnings kind of really not all but a lot of new beginnings start very slow and I think that's what's happening right here is your new journey your new adventure is going to start a little slow which that's okay because that's the that's the quality of it is you will have quality because it's coming in slow and because, you know, you're just at a crossroads right now. This is Six of Swords is your science of it. That's you walking away, analyzing your emotions, knowing what you're, what you're worth, knowing your options. Ten of Swords, walking away. Healing. You know, I'm not even going to go into that much because you already know. The science of it is you walking away from something that no longer serves you. Analyzing your emotions, looking in, into the situation and seeing, you know, what you're cleaning up. Like in the beginning, I saw you sweeping. You were cleaning up what no longer serves you. And you're going within. Let's see. And you got you got new plans. What is this King of Wands for the psychic unification of form? This is you having new passions. you going to... Uh, um, it's just a new journey, too. You have an inspiration and a vision, you know. You're, you know what you want, for sure. What is your vision? To give justice to the situation, to tell the truth, and to walk away. Wow. So what you know within you is that you're wanting to walk away we got the queen of swords and the justice you know that's truth right there both of these cards are strong truth y'all and your truth is that you need to walk away that's what you know within and you have you know it's like another point that you're looking at and you're like you're telling your little cat you're like okay we're gonna do this buddy we're gonna go a different way we're gonna walk away from this situation and then you're gonna pull yourself to like I don't know maybe you could be like going on a trip by yourself you know and just going within even just going you know within at home you just you're soul searching soul searching Sagittarius I like that Sagittarius is soul searching somebody was soul searching in my Halloween All right, what is this hermit? Hmm. Okay, so at home, y'all, this is heavy. You're going within, you know, you're going within and you're getting away from anything that's still you're getting away from deception, from, you know, sleepless nights. You're getting away from that energy of, no, I know better. No, I know better. Or, you know, that conflict within thinking that maybe you don't know what's best. But when well, you know what's best, you see it in your psychic, in your intuition, in your psychic, you know what's best for you. And it's not this situation. This situation brings you sleepless nights. It brings you anxiety. You know, we've got a lot of swords. This puts you in your thoughts big time. Right now, you were probably in your thoughts about something. But know that the only way you get out of it is to speak your truth. 
and to know within that you have other options that you could come out on top and have that equal give and take with someone you know you're embodying the queen and the queen of swords i mean the queen of cups i'm sorry y'all i can't get it together you got the queen of cups here too you got the queen of cups the queen of swords the queen of pentacles and the queen of um wands here and I have not pulled my whole deck. I still have a whole deck. You know. I haven't pulled that many cards. So you're embodying a lot of feminine energy that's very positive. But you also need to embody that truth. Because the Queen of Swords is here. And that's the truth. And I think the truth will get you out of this stale, deceptive, sleepless night. You know. Somebody might be doing. I got chills so bad right now somebody might be doing something bad behind your back and you just see it and your intuition is telling you that there's a lot of conflict around this you know somebody thinks they know better and they're holding back out oh, this person's holding back from you on so many levels and so you're like you know what you're holding back from me I have other options and that's exactly because you're not going to do this back and forth energy any longer you're ready to set up with something that's a lot more better and you're making a choice because I got the chariot right behind it you're making a choice that you want somebody that's going to be open it's going to speak their truth to you because right now somebody isn't speaking their truth you know and they're bringing a lot of deception here a lot of a lot of um, conflict this is their deception you know they're thinking of what they could get away with just breadcrumbing you and they're not gonna they're not gonna you're not gonna allow it okay we're gonna get into your lineup now you know I really like seeing that two of cups and this knight of um, cups in that position because it's like something is coming and you know it in your intuition you know it All right, let's see what is going on with such and that ten of swords is was sitting upright like this. So somebody's going through a heavy ending. I mean, it's out there, y'all. There's so many and there she is, the high priestess. I was waiting. The strength, the high priestess, the four of pentacles, the five of pentacles, the nine of cups, the hierophant, and the hangman. You're learning to hang back from this person. You're learning that you're not getting your happiness from this person. Five of pentacles, you're out in the cold with this person. Your intuition screaming at you. You have the strength here. You're going to pull back from this. This is beautiful. This is the strength here. You cleaning up. You sweeping that out of the, you know, you having the uh, authority to sweep that still energy out the door whatever this is if it doesn't even have to be a person y'all it could just be energy in general just something in your life that's just not serving you any longer and you're like no I'm gonna hang back from that thank you it's my happiness is nowhere around this five of cups energy this cold cold scared place you know instead you're like over here look at this you know she knows all she's conscious of what's good in her life and what's bad in her life she's not dumb you know she's a she's intuitive she works from her intuitive state strength this is you holding back from everything that you do that does not serve you and then you having the strength to move forward you know you might have people in your life like that lion that's just going to move forward with you and they're just going to flow right with your flow you know so don't worry about if if you are in a situation where you're with a person and um and you have to leave, you know, hold back from this person, and y'all have mutuals, don't worry about it, because you got people that's going to come with you. 
king of look and three of cups what did i say people are coming you're gonna find your stability in others okay you're gonna find your happiness in other situations now if this is work it could be work with the four of pentacles and the five of pentacles here you're gonna find your success elsewhere because you know that intuitive inside of you you know this is bringing a lot out of you and you're learning with the hierophant here the hierophant's teacher it's like it's a lesson you know and even it could be a commitment you holding back from the commitment all right let's see what is the strength what are you holding back from what are you building strength from? oh look at that devil in reverse walking away speaking your speaking your truth letting go of that devil it's like bye bye devil i don't want to deal with you no more i am walking away i'm coming in my own i am going to speak my own truth ace of cups it's just like the cup is overflowing you know her cup is overflowing because you have had this built up inside of you and it's just now it's like it's got to come out it is no choice You've held back from speaking, but you're not holding back anymore. That reduces down to the Seven of Cups. You've got options. What is this High Priestess? you got a lot of options. The Hermit. You know you need to hold back from this. You need maybe do some soul searching. Two of Swords, Seven of Swords, which reduces to the Five of Swords. And this is like the conflict that you've been dealing with. You know, that, that chatty... Um, it's just conflict it's conflict within because of the outside situation and the conflict with you know being stale and maybe not even the conflict of you not making a choice to walk away before and you know now you're like i'm gonna go within you know the high priest is here and the hermit that is strong soul you know that that's strong intuition that's that's on a soul level okay your soul knows this it's screaming at you get out this is deceptive this is bringing you conflict four of pentacles what is a four of pentacles this is you holding on you know or being a little fearful maybe whenever you leave this situation you might be put out in the cold but i can tell you what you don't see on the other side of that five of pentacles is the nine of cups so what you don't see coming is the nine of cups your happiness you only see that five of pentacles you don't see that nine of cups let's see what's that four of pentacles you're scared that you might not get in that place of celebration this this was sideways so it's kind of like an iffy i'm not really sure if i'm going to get there type of energy five of cups kind of feeling you know like what if i don't heal from this what if i what if i you know um move my energy elsewhere and uh and i don't get results you know what if i get put out in the cold that's what you're saying definitely thinking that you're going to get put out in the cold so it's hard for you to move out of this but you're gonna you you are you're moving out of it but you still have an area of fear that you're going to be put out in the cold and that's okay because that's what that's just it's natural you know that's natural five of pentacles because we get into a little void when we leave things and so it's just natural and it's so easier for me to say y'all than to to place it so don't think just because I, you know I'm, I'm carelessly going over it don't think that I'm dismissing the way it feels because it is a lot harder to do as to say you know I know that it's hard but I'm telling you if you flip that point and you move for further you're gonna get that king of Pentacles energy that balance that loyal because that dog sitting there and he's got that cake in his hand like you know I got it all he's got the kingdom sitting behind him I don't know what the bull means, you know, maybe that might mean that, you know, he's just, he's stern, he's, he's solid, you know, that's how I portray it, 
page of pentacles you you changing and learning from the situation is gonna it's gonna not put you out in the cold you're not going to be out in the cold you're going to be put up in a place of state of stability and a place where look look make a choice to walk away from this hurt from this heartache okay because you have stability here you have something coming nine of cups okay we're going to get into what's what's on the other side of that five of pentacles what's on the other side of that hallway you know the emperor the empress the queen of wands three of pentacles there's somebody else here y'all you could build with somebody you could be vulnerable with somebody that's going to be vulnerable with you you know and there's a three of pentacles here with the queen of wands that's like you pulling in collaboration with someone that's going to see your beauty you know you having that collaboration where someone's going to see your beauty this nine of cups is somebody seeing your beauty they're seeing the sides of you that you wish this other person would have saw but they weren't in that place they were able to see it and that's okay because divine you know rejection is divine protection so that's what was happening here was the divine was protecting you from one person to send you into someone that you didn't even believe that you can have like on a level this is going to be a lot better than what you even expect it okay the emperor and the empress that's divine feminine and divine masculine energy that's a balance three of pentacles you might i don't know you might learn from this this person that's coming in your life you might learn that the things that were in the past were just not that it was a faulty foundation that you weren't you know you could never have anything with that person in the past because the foundation was just faulty and you're going to learn that you can have a solid foundation with somebody give me something on this emperor going to build probably be a new choice the star I look at her as something like a wish fulfillment a lot of times because we wish on a star you know so I feel like she's like a wish fulfillment, something that's going to be satisfying. These burdens are going to be done with. We got ten of wands and death. I mean, that's like a burden done with. What is this hierophant? Working on your soul contract, nurturing yourself, nurturing others around you too, being able to be in a place of, of freedom and just, you know, sticking yourself into your work. You might just focus on yourself for a little while. What is the hangman? Yeah, because the hangman's here. Yeah, you're in a crossroads and you don't want to go towards anything that's going to cause um, conflict or, you know, um... battles or you know you're gonna hang back from anything that's not serving you and then you're inspired you're you're inspired to go a new path so you're hanging back from you know and you're being authoritative about it you're showing up as a king of swords so you're being authoritative about it and you're like i'm going by my book Look at him. He's like pointing at this book. This is like you. I'm going by my book and I'm doing my thing. I'm not worried about anything else. You know, I cleaned house. Two of wands. I'm making new plans, new decisions. I got the world in my hand. And I'm ready to conquer it. Wow. You sitting up there on that. On your kingdom. You're like, yes. I don't want to clarify. I want to know this emperor and empress.
breaking yourself free. And you know, that that could be the Emperor and Empress, you embodying both of those energies, you know, and you kind of saying no to that back and forth energy, and you saying no to that that imprisonment that you had, that stillmate, and you saying, you know, I got something better, and I'm going with the fool. I love we're going to end this with the fool because the fool is the new beginning, and that's where you're at. You're at, I want something that's going to fulfill me with the Page of Cups, something that's going to come with an open heart and an open, you know, have be able to talk about things, to be able to talk about emotions and about feelings to go on journeys with, to have that passionate beginning. I don't want that king of swords energy any longer. I don't, you know, I'm going by my book, yeah, but I don't want somebody else to go and say, uh, I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't, you just don't want that, that cold energy, you know, because that's not getting you nowhere. You want that lovely, beautiful, carefree, you know, energy in your life and you're saying no to the rest you're cleaning up and you're like i know there's we're gonna have to work on this and i'm probably gonna have frustrations and uh coming into something new but i got options look at that new beginning look, look at the, all those options right there there's gonna be so many options you're not gonna know what to choose Woo! Okay, Sagittarius, that's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for stopping by. And please hit that like button. It helps my channel so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.